Compartment lights. We've dealt with a variety of compartment lights, and again, they are available on the website, so you can check those out. But there's different types of compartments. There's compartments where you would store equipment, but then, of course, there are areas where human beings are going to operate vis-a-vis uh, -vis in a rescue rig, for example. You're taking uh, firefighters to the scene. It might be also a command vehicle where you're uh, having to get updates at the fire scene or at a tragic accident, but you need to have a well-lit environment to do that. Another crucial area happens to be in the ambulance service. And of course, when you're working on patients in an ambulance, light is critically important, just as much as it is important in an operating room. Now, myself, having been involved in the ambulance service over the years, I know how important lighting inside an ambulance is. And having had the pleasure to work in an operating theater from time to time, I know as well how important light is in the operating room. So when you look at lighting for an ambulance, check out Sirenet's ambulance interior lighting section. I've got two particular lights here I want you to have a quick look at and you can judge for yourself which ones would meet your particular need. So let's quickly jump behind the counter and check it out. Well here we have the two lights in question. They essentially are the same in size and again the part numbers will be available on the website along with the technical specs. This particular light I'm holding in my hand here is a Whelan light, so is the other one on the other side here. This particular one is what's known as the Whelan 6 LED, that's literally the part number, so it's a 6 LED, it's an interior ambulance light, and the intensity out of this light is pretty darn intense. So again, when you're setting up an ambulance, you may be an OEM, obviously you will have your own pre-prescribed ways to do that, but you may also be a volunteer ambulance service, a private ambulance company, or even a municipal ambulance service that is taking out the incandescent or even to a degree halogen lighting that has been used in the past as a way of getting your ampage down, because again, that is one of the great features of LED product, is to get ampage down. These particular lights possibly will be the ones that would definitely work for you. So again, it's definitely worth checking out. As you can see here, there's a heat sink on the back of the light. Also, the light itself comes with mounting hardware. Of course, you won't see the heat sink, by the way, when it's in the ambulance, because it'll mount in this way, so it will be flush with the ceiling. Now, I'm going to go and turn this one on, and then I'll turn the other one on as well, and you can decide which one would suit your application. So I've gone ahead, and we've seen this before on other videos where I'm well illuminated, but this particular light here would definitely be the sort of light that you want to have giving pretty intense lighting in an area that's not directly in the patient's eyes. So in the lower extremities area or in the vehicle itself, but not necessarily directly over the patient uh, because this light is pretty darn intense. But it does give excellent visibility and again, great amperage reduction as well. So this is something that you could comfortably use in an ambulance when working on patients. The other light here, which I've also got turned on, and again, the difference is in the diffuser technology. This one has a diffuser that basically spreads the LEDs. This one basically has the LEDs going through a clear lens, and you can clearly see the LEDs. This particular part number for this particular light from Whelan is the 80C0EHCCOR, that is the 80C0EHCOR. And again, this is an interior light. It also has a chrome bezel on it as well. The other light in question does not have a chrome bezel on it. So really, it's just your own decisions. But again, there's a variety of options available on the website pertaining to these type of light heads. You can see here from my hands perspective, and I'll put it out a little bit here, you can illuminate the area in question. Now we're inside a studio, of course, and obviously there's lots of bright light here, but this light, for example, could be used above a patient not to blind them. So there you have it, interior ambulance lighting or also interior lighting that could be used in a variety of different type of vehicles from a rescue truck, command vehicle, any area where you need to have intense bright light to do your job. These are the kind of products that are available on SirenNet. So go ahead and check those out. I'm Stuart, and thanks for watching SirenNet Television.